occasioni o ex Coppa Europa sono partiti e la scritta ci deve aver vinto oh that's the bit on us Good morning, everybody. It is coffee, coffee time. Um, <clears throat> no run to work this morning, mainly because the baby got up at three until four, four, four or five o'clock. So just didn't want to run, I was too tired. Anyway, I'll see you all in a second. <sighs> it is time to go to work. up ladies and gentlemen how are you so we finished work we're in the shed mill because i think storm was it dennis is still kicking about still not the best so just going to get ready to run um do a few miles on here i just which it's actually a really good week this week because it's actually my down week which i completely forgot about so i actually only have to do like 50 60 miles this week which is absolutely amazing so i just need to take it easy stay relaxed stay in control and this week is nothing but just recovery and just chilled out relaxed running which is absolutely amazing like you couldn't ask for more if you wanted so i'm going to get on with that i will see you all in a few miles time where we will convene i'm out of the shot again where we will convene for some more chats sorry if i'm going in and out of the shot on this one because i didn't quite set this up right but anyway i'll see you after this run just done it again aren't i i'll see you in a sec Ladies and gentlemen, so 12 miles, 651 mile, and I got into a good groove. But <clears throat> I, first day, I've really, really struggled like mentally. Like my brain wasn't, just wasn't there today. I was gonna stop at six miles. I'd convinced myself I was only running to six miles. And then from there, I, I just, I had loads of troubles with the treadmill when I was starting off. Like it's definitely feels like it needs a big fix. It was creaking and bouncing funny and making some really weird noises. <clears throat> and then the wire fell out again that makes it go to like full extension. So it was like all the way up. So my first like six miles was just brought with just crazy problems. And my brain was like, just take it easy, take it relaxed, just stop after six miles. And then I just couldn't do it. Cause I, once I get, grooving like i'm fine and my brain just settles down it's just that like agitation for like the first part of it that right today was just like and i've had it before in the past where your brain's just like just stop just do this just do that and you justify doing less in your head and make yourself feel better for doing less and it's crazy like it's it is mad the fights that you have within your brain and that's the first time in this like six week seven week block that i have really had a fight with myself, not to run, just had them kind of arguments with myself. I haven't had them arguments for a while. I've just got on here and I spent hours in this shed. So I'm always yawning, but I suppose that's what happens when you've got two kids and one gets up at three o'clock in the morning. And that's probably the reason, I think I said this, I said it in, in just in, earlier in this video, like the reason I didn't run to work this morning is because I was feeling a bit um, like sore and a bit funny because mainly, um, we got up at 3 a.m. with Harris, he wasn't happy. We made him some milk, we put him back to sleep, but he didn't get to sleep until like half four. And then I was up at six for work, so then my alarm went off, I snoozed it a few times. Um, and I sort of just talked myself out of running to work. It was wet, it was windy, it was cold, hadn't had a lot of sleep, and I managed to just convince myself not to go. And it's easy to do that, I think. Um, it's easier not to run than it is to run. Anyway. I've managed to do 12 miles now when I only plan to do six, so I'm happy. I'm front loading the week as I always do. I'm really proud of myself to have got 12 out. I started to really rock and roll and feel amazing towards the end, like a bit of adrenaline and then that kicked in. I was also fasting today, which probably didn't help, uh, probably made my brain a little bit fried because I kind of broke my fast. I kind of just messed up. I bought myself a latte this morning before work uh, and had that, but 
kind of forgot, so I should have started eating really this morning, and I never. So, okay, I'm gonna go and eat now, I'm gonna go relax and tidy the house before Rebecca gets in, and I will see you all inside. What is up? So, we have bathed, we have stretched, we are chilling out, we are waiting for the kids to get in and Rebecca to finish work. So it is a quiet house right now. For some reason, just some reason, I decided to put Dougie on as the show. I have no idea why. It's just habit, I think, from when the boys are here and stuff. I've just put Dougie on and I'm sitting watching Dougie on my own drinking water, which is crazy. Anyway, today has been a little bit of a struggle, only because, like what I was trying to explain in the car, in, in the car, I haven't been in the car today, uh, like what I was trying to explain, it's like I was just a bit meh. I think it's because I didn't run to work this morning and I put quite a lot of pressure on myself to run home, which I didn't do because I took the wrong shoes to work. I took my, I've left them in the shed. No, I haven't, they're there. I took my waterproof walking shoes for the storm and you can't run in them because they've got a vibram sole. Um, I would just end up... It sounded worse than it was, it just got the shoe landed on the floor. You can't run home in them because you will end up with legs just like solid as rocks because you would, there's no giving them. They do have a fresh foam sole but they are made for trails and stuff. I didn't take my 1080s to work because I was just a bit fashion conscious this morning and didn't want to wear bright red shoes on the train. Uh, but I probably should have wore them and then I could have ran home which would have made my run a lot easier. Instead I did 12 miles on the treadmill, as you've seen, and um, yeah, it was good. I'm gonna now, I'm gonna wait for the kids to get in and Dougie's just finished so I'm gonna watch another episode of Dougie which is really silly and I will see you all when they're here and we're having dinner, which I hope is mac and cheese tonight but I'll let you know when they get here. What is up? So we have had dinner even though I look like I'm standing in the same place but there is a difference. Rebecca and the baby. The baby's just going to sleep. The other one fell asleep in the car, so he's already upstairs asleep. We had sausage and mash, which was amazing. Um, and now it is time to end the video there for today. I think I was looking around for something to do, but that's pretty much it. Babies are going to bed. I'm going upstairs to edit this, and I will see you all tomorrow. Baby's crying. I'll see you later. Bye.